This is basically a $50 or almost 50 euro Bitcoin miner. With this little 3D printed case, little cooling fan, I'm gonna use this to solo mine Bitcoin. And if you're wondering why I'm gonna solo mine, which is basically, I'm not gonna get a little bit of Bitcoin every day. I'm gonna have a small chance to earn the complete share of a Bitcoin block through solo mining where you would earn over $250,000 worth of Bitcoin, over a quarter million dollars of Bitcoin, over 3.125 Bitcoin, because that's the block reward, plus whatever transaction fees happened in that block, which happens like clockwork every 10 minutes. So yeah, for nearly $50, we can take our shot at acquiring a trillion dollar asset. I don't know how close you follow Bitcoin, but it's literally worth trillions of dollars. There's Bitcoin ETFs. There's publicly traded Bitcoin mining farms worth millions, hundreds of millions, and even billions. The Bitcoin industry is not going anywhere. A cryptocurrency exchange that specializes in simply trading Bitcoin has a massive market cap as well. Bitcoin is not only getting bigger and worth more because it has digital scarcity of 21 million coins maximum verified on chain. They're basically running low on coins to mine. The block reward halves every four years. So the best time to start mining Bitcoin was yesterday. The next best time is today. And the next best time is gonna be tomorrow. Yo, I'm Vosk. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I work hard to make the best crypto videos I can. Uh, showing people how to try to learn more, earn more, deploy your capital, passive income, all that stuff. In addition to the incredible Voscoin team behind me and the content we put out here on the tube, I've been working really hard to build my own personal Bitcoin mining farm. Uh, we've been expanding it. It's been fun. It's been crazy. It's been challenging. Uh, and I'm loving every moment of it. This is actually my second one of these. And <laughs> I got a few more in. These little guys, uh, this, this is a double, double version of it, looking like a mini full-size miner, if you're familiar with what a full-size Bitcoin ASIC miner looks like these days. Uh, so this is the Nerd Miner V2, uh, specifically the Bitronics version. And they come with this like retail ready packaging. I would love to see this in all kinds of stores because this is what Bitcoin is supposed to be. Open source Bitcoin mining hardware and software. These are little lottery tickets to maybe hit the next Bitcoin block. To put it into perspective, yes, they have a very small Bitcoin hash rate, uh, but they also mine over Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, to be precise. They also are easy to set up even if you only have a phone. You don't need a computer or anything else like that. And they use a whopping one watt of electricity. And I bought this way overpowered USB-C, USB power supply, recently released by Anchor. I mean, it's adorable. It makes a sleeping face. It's sleeping, how, how cool is that? I'm nerding out. What I love about this screen is it will give you a real time update on your power draw. So I bought this USB-C splitter and I've got six of these nerd miners and then I'm gonna run in tandem. So you can see uh, it's reportedly using about two watts of electricity. And now I'm gonna plug a second one in. And now we're going up towards four watts. I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy these are to set up and start mining Bitcoin essentially anywhere. So this is just gonna be two literally stacked on top of each other in a case. To my surprise though, they have a jumper in between them, so you only need to plug one power cable in. I love the cool sleek form factor that these come with, right? A fan so that I can overclock these and have some fun tinkering with the settings. They look like an old school Antminer S19. I can't believe I'm saying that's old school these days, but that was the best Bitcoin miner like seven years ago. Now the best Bitcoin miner, you know, there's several model variations, but one of them would be like the Bitmain Antminer S21 XP, which looks and has a form factor much like this. You know, they essentially made it twice as big, uh, if you will. Uh, the downside though, with this case, first like the $50 Bitcoin miner that we reviewed previously, the precise model that Altair sells, who's a US based Bitcoin uh, mining hardware seller, is with the case that those have, uh, they have a magnet that you can utilize on the back. So I could just stick this over here on my cabinet if I wanted to. You can't utilize any sort of magnet function here, uh, but you do get a pretty cool case and you do get some enhanced cooling capabilities and just the fun novelty that this is like literally a micro miner. And yeah, 
These little mini nerd miners have a, a micro shot. They're micro miners. They're fun, they're toys, they're gadgets, they're novelties. That's why they cost 50 bucks. We built Solo Luck to input whatever your mining hash rate is to see what your odds are, how much luck you would need to have to hit the next Bitcoin block. If you want a bigger shot at hitting a Bitcoin block, check out the bit axis. They're basically the big brother to the nerd miners. There's also the nerd axis that literally use these displays to make them even cooler and have a much higher hash rate. And for reference, someone running a bit axe hit a block just a couple weeks ago, taking a basically $200 Bitcoin miner that you could plug in anywhere and runs on Wi-Fi and turning it into over a quarter million dollars worth of Bitcoin. If that's not freaking cool, insane, crazy, enticing, enthralling, just exhilarating, I don't know what to tell you. You still, you still got a lot to learn. Don't take it personal. Hey, you wanna buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it. These all generate a Wi-Fi network with the same name. Typically, you only buy one of these. Nerd Miner AP. So you type in your Wi-Fi SSID, Mines Planetary Fortress. I punch in my password. Then I put in the mining pool information that I want to use. By default, these are always set up to public pool. So literally all you have to do, because you can just mine on public pool, all you have to do is just paste your Bitcoin address and click save and you'll be up and mining. For nerd miners, I recommend you just stick with public pool. It's a solo mining Bitcoin pool that's publicly hosted. You can download the software and basically run your own node and truly solo mine, or you can just use their node. And it's what you should do as a beginner and then look at tinkering and running your own node and having fun, strengthening the Bitcoin network, all that stuff. I'll make a video guide over the next month or so on that. So subscribe if you think that's cool. Uh, and if you like the content at all, I, I hope you subscribe anyway. Uh, we're, we're chasing a million subscribers. It's crazy I'm even saying that, but thanks to all you incredible people that tune in, it's so cool. If you need a Bitcoin address, just download a Bitcoin wallet. They're free and easy to get. There's a lot of different ways to do it. If nothing else, you can just download the Exodus wallet right on your phone and computer. They sync across there. It's a, what's called a light wallet. Get a Bitcoin address quick and easy and be in control of your own keys. If you want to trust a third party, which is never recommended, you can just make, say, like a Coinbase account and get a Bitcoin deposit address there. Or ideally, you get cold storage hardware like a Trezor Model T that provides basically an additional security layer for you. But you'll spend like 100 bucks on that as opposed to free 99 with some software. Bitronix is killing it just with this consumer ready packaging, right? Inside here, you got this little pamphlet quick little breakdown on a quick setup. I mean, so easy, so beginner friendly. Sure, I hope if you buy one of these and you give it to a friend, relative, enemy, whatever, that you send them our video and you say, hey, watch this video, it's a review and a setup guide. But if not, they've got a little pamphlet in there that should allow anyone uh, to take their time and get started. If you have questions, join the Voscoin Discord server We've got tens of thousands of incredible miners in there. They'll be happy to answer your questions and help you work through this. The double unit's pretty cool, pretty fun. And I like the clear plastic on the screen here. That's cool. They do come with a cable. That's not something you need to buy. You're gonna need to have some kind of charger. An old iPhone charger would power this because we've got two plugged in right now. We're using a whopping three watts of electricity between two of them, but one's only turned on, uh, it hasn't. It's not mining. With the two tier unit, my only gripe is I would maybe love to see the top be like the typical screen and then the bottom just becomes like a big price ticker or the block height or you know, just it's something. Total coins in circulation, just something other than the same thing basically being repeated. These are cool, these are fun. These are incredible little units and toys. And if you're looking for like a random cheap birthday gift for your Bitcoin bro, your Bitcoin dad or son, here it is. Ever looking for a fun stocking stuffer? Huh, congrats, here it is. Yes, the hash rate is small, but it's a small cheap device that basically uses no power. 78 kilohash a second. Let me put that into perspective for you 
on solo luck. You've got a micro chance at hitting a Bitcoin block. Check this out. This is the Nerd QX++. I shot a video review on this earlier. This is an early production unit. I'm pretty excited about it. So you remember what we put in here for the Nerd Miner. Let's click this drop down. We go to Terra Ash a second. I wish it was 78. We should be getting at least 4.6 terahash a second. I think when I overclock this, I can get it more towards like five terahash a second. My chances go down all the way to one in 3,153 per year, or basically one in one million chance every day. If you think those odds are bad, you clearly don't understand typical lottery odds with like the Powerball or just scratch off tickets at the gas station. These are absolutely palatable mining odds. So if you think this stuff's cool, if you wanna grab one of the other mini Bitcoin miners, I'll link the good ones down below. You know, a couple hundred bucks, to several hundred bucks, you spend more, you essentially get more. And these are incredible. If I just wanted to spend closer to 50 bucks and teach a class about Bitcoin mining, I'd just grab one of these. The cheaper model doesn't even have a fan on it. So there's no active cooling, so there's not even a risk of some dingleberry sticking his finger in there. I'm Vosk, here on the Vosk on YouTube channel. This is our 2.0 review of the $50 Bitcoin miner, the Nerd Miner V2, specifically the Bitronics version, which is a bit different than the previous model we reviewed. Very cool, very fun, love the form factor. These cost like 10, 15 bucks more than the other model we looked at. If you want the cheaper one, the other one's a great option. If you want something that literally is a micro Bitcoin miner, case and fan included, this would be what you're looking at. I hope the content was worthwhile enough for you to subscribe. And if nothing else, let's part with 10 seconds of tails. Something we do on every video. She's our CMO, our chief mining officer here at Bosscoin. I'll see you on the next one.